guys, Sean Miss Prime here doing another Marvel Legends story review on Marvel Legends Havoc from the Giant Man series. Um, there's many costumes of Havoc. The three that I remember the most are his original costume right here and uh, the X Factor from the 90s. And then there's the more recent Havoc, which resembles this one. It's like a combination of this one and the X Factor Havoc. You know, I like all of them, but when I saw that this one was coming out, I just got really stoked. I thought this was really, really cool. And there's really not much to this figure at all. It just captures the likeness of the figure really well, and I don't really need to, you know, I don't really desire anything else from it. Except for, uh, you know, his, um, his Havoc Waves coming out right here, which are just made with twisty ties, you know, wrap them around my finger, and then, uh, and then put them around right there. So I could take these off for a minute so I could do the damn review. So this is how the figure comes. He doesn't have any accessories or anything like that. Um, you know, you can make these twisty tie things yourself. Um, every time I see it in the video, though, you owe me 50 cents. All right, cool. It's done. Um, it's, it doesn't have a lot going on. It just really doesn't. It's mostly all black, unlike that Black Panther figure that had, like, that shaded uh, purple in it. Um, this is nothing but just black with white right here on the chest, white right here on the dome. He's got that... That red right there in the middle, and the flesh tones, and then silver around the neck. No uh, flight stand hole in the back. He does have hole pegs at the bottom of his feet. Very cool. Always helpful. I'm pretty sure this is the same mold as the uh, Captain Marvel figure, which was later used for Quicksilver. Um, I could be wrong. I'm, I'm just not 100% sure, but damn, I'm like 90% sure that it's the same exact thing, especially with the treads at the bottom of the feet there. But, um, you know, it's a cool figure. I really like the likeness. His head does look a little big, but it's, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Let's get a closer look at the face. So that's the face right there. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Looks really mean, too. Really aggressive, but, you know, that's the face of Havoc. Oh yeah. So the articulation, uh, head moves back pretty far. So that's, you know, I have him shooting up at a sentinel, which works really well for me, having the head tilt back like that. Down, side to side. Uh, he does have the armpit joint. Ooh, he's got some dust on him, but he's got armpit joint. You know, when I the bicep swivel right there, when I set up my figures, um, you know, most of the time I just uh, leave him as is. I don't really change him around too much. I, uh, this hand right here has the waffle hands that Dwight Stahl likes to refer to, or the meow hands. Or this is the meow hand, and this is the waffle hands. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, which you could still make a fist out of, you know? I don't know. It works. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, like, talking through the articulation because, you know, you guys could see what I'm doing. He's got ball joints right here. Uh, you have to position them right and then move it forward. Mine's a little stuck, so it may be like that on yours. And then he does have a thigh swivel that works just fine on this side, but it's stuck on this side for me. So there's this thigh swivel, double joint knees, calf joint, awesome ankle, fuck, pivot, and toe joint, and ankle moves up and down just fine. All right, that's my review of Havoc. Get out of here. All right.